Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This one's different for me. This is, I don't know if you call it a top level design. No, it is a top level designer. But I've had, this is the most expensive trainers I've ever had in my hands. Let's go. So before I get into this, welcome back everyone. If you've liked, subscribed, and hit notification bell for my previous videos and my channel, thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, my name is Patrick T. I do reviews on all kinds of kicks in an effort to help you cop or drop before you go and spend your hard earned money. And that's it really. So if you like the video and you're new to the channel, please like the, hit the like button as and when you feel like this is giving you some context but please subscribe and definitely hit notification bell so you know when I do more videos as well. So I'm gonna get into this. Like I said, this is the most expensive trainers I've had in my hands. And we are talking about the Dior B22 sneakers. I think that's what they call them, Dior B B22 sneakers. So first of all, this is what it comes in. Okay, Dior bag and the paper is a tumble leather print on it, okay? Nice silver Dior right in there and a paper bag. The box itself is exactly the same as the bag. It's got the tumble leather print on the box. It's got Dior. First thing I'm gonna say about this, this is heavy. <laughs> these are heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know the price of these later on, but this is a heavy box. I don't know what's in this box, okay? It's just plain. There's nothing else underneath. That's what you've got, it just says Dior. On this side, you've got the details there. As you can see, you can see a bit of the thing. But it's funny because the details, it's, it's a, as you can see, sorry, I'm I don't know why I'm trying to do it like that. The top of the box is just a slit. So the details are just right in the middle of there. The inside of the box, there's nothing to show. Okay. Now, first of all, this is where you know where the money's going, yeah? You've got a shoe bag with Dior written on it there, as you can see, that opens up. Nice shoe bag. Okay, and it's got um, ribbon, ribbon pulls to close it, obviously. Okay, let's put that down there. You've got an extra set of laces. I'd call this light pink, I believe, you know? set of laces and tissue paper lots of tissue paper <laughs> I'm sorry about the noise but there's a lot of tissue paper here yeah it opens that way that way and that opens this way and now you see the shoes okay so let's pull these out I will show you in a minute oh my god they're heavy <laughs> wow they're they're really heavy Let's pull these out and let's get rid of this. There's nothing, you've got tissue paper on the outside of the box as well. Like on the, you know, so it secures the shoes in there. Yeah, this ain't no night trainer, boy. But for the price, I expect this. For the price, I expect this, yeah? So, I can tell you the price, don't worry. So, that's that. So, oh my God, they are so heavy. Wow. Here they are. Your B22 sneakers. so heavy like, I was just gonna deal with one we don't need to deal with two I'll put that one there it's still in shot anyway 
But yeah, um, let's do what we normally do. Let's start from the sole. Now you've got a black rubber sole, which is sitting on top of the white midsole. You can see the various cutouts as you can. There's not much grip, if I'm honest with you. There's enough, but there's not a lot of grip. Okay, in the middle it says CD for Christian Dior, made in Italy, which is a nice touch. I don't know if that's actually gonna to touch the ground when you're walking. It'd be a shame if it does, because then it will rub off, obviously. So that is, you know, the grip, like I said to you, it's not much of a grip, but it will definitely not make you slip, you know? That is on top of a very, very hard midsole. Very hard midsole. There's no giving this midsole whatsoever. I don't know how comfortable these will be, and unfortunately, these are not my size, so I can't tell you. No, actually, I can. These are supposed to be very comfortable, okay? Despite the no no bounce, no movement whatsoever in these midsole, these are supposed to be very comfortable. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of the, foam, the Yeezy foam runners. But this is definitely, definitely another level material. Another level material. I'm, I, but we're going to get into this. So we've got a white midsole with various cutouts to give it artistic silhouette. Just above the midsole, you've got the Dior sign on a mm, TP, TPU plastic. And it's in, not embossed, it's in a, like a bubble. A on top of that, the mudguard above the midsole is calfskin, okay? But it's almost, it's a grey type colour but it's got a shimmer to it as well. It's so soft. It's unbelievable. And that sits on top of what they call a, a grey tech mesh. A grey technical mesh. Okay. It's got breathable holes in it. It's very cushioned. Let me take the paper out. I just want to see how much it gives. It doesn't give a lot. It's a solid toe box. Okay. So it's not going to go out of shape when you wear this. It's not going to be a crease in this. It's, it's, it's a nice kick. I'd, it doesn't even move, look. <laughs> it doesn't even move. You're not creasing this. You're just gonna rock in these shoes, okay? That same overlay, the calfskin overlay, carries on up to the lace there. You then underneath that have like the reflective type material here, which travels along the shoe, as you can see just there, and underneath, and that carries a round toe box at the top where the laces are, and again, same line through the shoe there. Again, on top of that, or just underneath that, is more calfskin leather, but in a lighter gray material this time. And again, it feels so soft. It's mad. It's soft, but durable, you know? Here, that travels up, and then you've got a bit more, you've got some more overlay on top of that in the same leather, but this time it stitches onto the, the little rings for the laces to go through. That again is in a uh, nylon type material and it's got strips of the reflective material going through every one of those. So that's going to show up. The laces are a big ropey type lace in a pink colour, which actually sits really nice with this, I must admit. And the tongue has the same tech mesh material running through the tongue with bits of, yeah, cow leather overlay again. And you can see the tongue pull is a black nylon with that reflective material strip running through it again. It's quite cushiony. Inside the tongue, it has, it says LS042144. That might be the model number of the shoe. I'm not too sure because I've never had a pair of designer shoes. I'm going to be honest with you. Inside, I don't know if you could take out that. Yes, you can. Oh, wow. Okay, so the insole, is quite thick as you can see, okay? It's just because it says Dior right there. It's nice gray, but it's very cushy. That's, that may be where the, like I said, the comfort comes from, because that is quite thick, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Inside, you've got a nylon type material, but it feels, it feels premium, man. It's almost, it feels, almost feels smooth. I can't describe it to you. And the lever carries on at the top. It doesn't stop on the outside. 
Okay, the leather carries on through on the inside where the laces are as well, all, all the way down. The stitching is phenomenal. But it's not, it's not a stitch out of place. But for the price, this is what you expect. Okay, I ain't telling you the price yet. You got to hold it. If you're still here, you got to hang on to tell the price. Don't, don't go away. Not even if this is your. Okay, you just got to have a look at these. If we go to the so that's the front of the shoe. If we go to the back, you've got the same tech mesh material going around the ankle with quite a high heel support. That's very stiff but very cushiony. So it's definitely going to lock your foot in this. You're you're not going to have any giveaway here. You've got the same black nylon with the reflective stripe going through as the heel pull at the back that is sat onto the mesh material and overlaid you've got the calf skin leather in dark gray light gray and then you've got the reflective material at the top going around the band just in the middle again you can see where the, the overlays go over the tech mesh and the heel pull material travels all the way through the shoe right up to the top there like i said the heel the, the, the midsole is just no give. It's no give. It's solid. This shoe is so heavy. Oh my god! It feels like a boot. It. I don't know how you can you call it a sneaker if you can't do anything in it. It's a lifestyle. It. It's a lifestyle trainer. It's a lifestyle trainer. So. Okay, let's just get into this. The this is. Nine hundred eighty pounds dead. Not nine hundred and seventy nine ninety nine. Nine hundred eighty pounds dead. Call it a thousand pounds, isn't it? Let's call it a thousand pounds. I don't know. Like I said, I don't buy these type of kicks, so I don't know if that's standard for this. I don't know if it's overpriced. I don't know whether you should wait for the sale. I don't know how if. This is definitely a new version. This is it literally, when I got this, Dior didn't even have it on its website. It's now on its website today as I'm filming this. But when I got this from my friend, it wasn't even on there. We searched, it wasn't on there. I knew nothing about this. I had to wait for them to upload more information about this so I could tell you about it. I mean, let me read, I'm gonna read a bump for you for it. It says, B22 sneaker reimages the chunky sneaker through a retro lens combining different materials and textures, including smooth calfskin and gray technical mesh. It has a bold sports inspired aesthetic around the laces and the raised Dior signature on the, on the side, complemented the thick white sculptured rubber sole with black edging. The sneak can be worn with any casual piece for a sporty and contemporaneous silhouette. So they're not even telling you it's a, a sports sneaker. They're saying this is a casual wear sneaker. Now, if you know, you know. I feel quite amateurish in this realm, realm of footwear. But it's very nice. The front actually reminds me of a Nike um, Hirachi. You can see the way it's cut there and the mudguard. And the way it comes up there, it reminds me of her arches. The front again is the reflective material. I can see it glittering. I don't know if you can catch it on camera. I can't. I don't know if you can, but it glitters. This has got. That's definitely going to reflect at night. That's going to reflect. That stripe's going to reflect, and just around the heel's going to reflect as well. It's mad. I got, it's a heavy kick, man. <laughs> I can't believe how heavy this is. I don't know how it feel on foot. I feel like I need to go and just try these on. But I'm not going to because I'm not going to pay for them. But I, it's funny, I, like, I quite like these. Dior website, I'm going to leave a link below if you want to cop. £190. But, you know, let's be honest, I've seen some Nike Jordans going for more than this and people buy them. So... If this is your thing, this is, wow. Most expensive trainers I've had in my hands. But there you have it, people. The Dior, Dior B22 sneakers. You know what? The laces are, sorry, they're just giving you a spare pair of laces the same color. 
So if these get dirty, you just put the new ones in. Touch. <laughs> Listen, I'm gone. Thanks for watching. If you like the content of the video, I know it's been a bit of a funny one. I've been kind of awestruck with these, to be honest with you. If you like the content of the video, please like, subscribe, hit notification bell. And I'll see you people again, man. Peace.